That's it. Two new nails with two flowers, right? Um, sure. You want one or two? Two. I think it's two. Or do you want one or two? Two. Yeah. Hey guys, hit that share button for me, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. How are you guys doing today? Just gonna do these two. I'm using my mom right here. Two beating, gonna shape my nail. How's everybody doing today? Hello, Madonna, how are you? Can't believe you spilled your tips. Aish! What's up, Ginny? How long, long time we'll see? Hello, everybody. So we gotta shape our shape tips. We're gonna do the top nail here. Okay, one, two, three, give it three seconds, okay? Welcome, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the demo video I did earlier for you guys with that fake hand. Now we're going on the real client's hand. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit there. I think this is perfect apex structure here. Her birthday set. Ooh. It's your birthday. That should be good enough for me. Right there. I'll clean up the size real quick. Or you can just file that later. So this is about perfect apex for me. Just enough. It's a medium, long to long. Let me do the other hand here. We're gonna be using a blue ounce. Oops, no! Oh man, powder's getting low. Gotta be real careful. I have enough just for four fingers for this design here. There we go. Fold it in. Don't have to move the powder unless you're ready to move it, okay? When it's nice and medium, that's when you move it. You move too soon, it'll be too runny. You know what happens then, right? Just like that. it up I can't believe I'm leaving next week for Atlanta already oh my god time goes by so fast already on Atlanta class they've been, Atlanta class has been waiting for so long appreciate all the patience from the Atlanta class so I'm bring it down I should keep it here. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more powder up here, or I'm just gonna push this up here a little bit. I'm just like struggling. I wanna make sure I use all the powder here. Cause I ran out of this powder. Just a tiny bit more. It's right here. Nice and smooth. 
shape is there. Boom. I'm gonna move to the other hand and pray to the gods that I have enough for two more fingers. <laughs> I should have enough. It's gotta be, oh my goodness. I may or may not. I may have to do just thin and cap. Yep, that's what I have to do. I don't have enough, so I'm gonna do thin and I'm gonna cap it with clear. Same thing. You guys get to see me uh, make it work here. So I'm gonna do this very thin. I'm gonna cap it with clear. So it ran out. This is how you you would do it if you were, uh, you know how I said I never cap powder? This is how you would do it if you were to cap powder. Keep this like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. And just very thin, and I'll cap with clear to make up for my thickness. Still gotta shape my nail though. Woo! Emily at the bottom of the letter. See, that's how sometimes we gotta make it work, guys. I'm gonna use the, uh, I'm use the, another powder for the other ones. Just gonna get this in here. Okay. Beautiful. We just made it. Look at that. I use all this. <laughs> Let me try to grab some more here and just get some more pigment on the, the tip of the nail here. And that's it. So. Done with this powder. It's actually a really pretty color by Chisel. Um, if you guys want to use it, it's a like solid six, 169. Now I'm gonna use this blue here. Very pigmented. You see why I use my, um, you guys see why I use my, uh, my nude first? The last thing I wanna do is tint my monomer with blue and then use nude. So you gotta really plan out your sets, okay, strategically. Hello, thank you, thank you. It's not when you use the blue. This one I'll probably get. Look at that blue. Ooh. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna use this blue as a base and then I'm gonna cap it. This is such a high pigment. more pigment the color you guys see the smaller the beads you'll get you really gotta just cap it this is the only time i'll ever cap and i'm just gonna make it nice and thin and i'll make sure it covers all my cuticle area and nice and even because i'm gonna cap everything with clear this reminds me of valentino powder and it's really hard to mix a blue like this deep without having to have it like this and I totally understand why this is colors like this. Because it's one of those colors where you can't you cannot have this true color unless you have it pigmented. So this This one I'm gonna do an ombre. 
blue to clear. You gotta make sure you be careful how much you use, okay? This is gonna be very, very bleeding. You see that? I'm gonna paste this on. I'm not gonna, gotta be careful with it because I don't wanna drag too much. It's gonna be ombre to clear, so blue to clear. Just like that. And I'm gonna cap this with clear also. So that has an ombre look to it. Just like that, ooh. Just gotta blend this a little bit more. Gotta be careful. I'm missing a spot right here. I think I'm unhappy with that. This is so pigmented, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna cover the whole nail, but I don't wanna leave any gaps, spots. See that spot right there? I'm gonna try to work it a little bit more. I'm gonna leave this powder a little bit longer, let it dry a little bit more so it's not too runny. And boom. I fill that gap up. All right. I'm gonna leave it at that. Same thing with this. I'm just gonna put it on, get the pigment on, and I'm gonna cap everything with clear. You guys probably, this is probably the first time you guys ever seen me cap uh, clear uh, color powder with clear. And you guys know why. You guys see why I do that? Because this, this powder, I can I can do it thick too, but it just, this is better for me just to do it clear with a clear cap. Because just the way the powder is. A nice royal blue. Now if you want to mix more clear than this, it won't look like this. So we got a nice blue uh, ombre. Your favorite set, huh? It will be, I'm sure of it. Hmm. It's nice and even layer, a nice thin layer. Get my color, my pigment in. This one's gonna be the ombre. Gotta be careful with this. Cuticle first. And I'm gonna blend down for the ombre. I want this blue to clear ombre because I'm cap this, it's gonna be clear and I'm gonna put designs on this later, okay? Just like that. Same with this, I'm gonna do this nice and thin. Actually, first time ever doing this style, I don't, I don't hate it. Okay, now I'm done with the blue. I'm gonna take out my clear powder. Now it's time I cap everything, okay? Cap my blue. So I'm gonna start with the apex area. Still gotta build my structure just like how I do with my other sets. Only problem with this is I hate is bubbles. This is why I don't like capping with clear because bubbles always form. You gotta be careful with that, okay? So 
see what I can't be cut over to clear here. Let's see? Clear here on the tip. Now, put a little more clear here on the edge. Make sure when I draw this here, it's not gonna take away all that blue, okay? Work slow with clear. And this is why I hate doing capping. I have to go through, do everything over again, but it is what it is. We gotta do it. This one, especially. Clear cap. Nice speed. Give it one, two, three, some time here for the because clear is always gonna take a while to set. So that took my time here. Some nice structure. It's like that. Not bad. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But for beginners to do this, working with clear is definitely very, very hard. I would not want a beginner to be working with clear like this. So definitely, I feel you guys. This is why I don't like using powders that you have to cap. But sometimes when using like royal blues like this or hot pinks, you, if you want the, the actual color, you actually have to deal with it, okay? Just like that. Same with this. Nice big bead of clear. This clear is from a nail supply store. Nothing special. Just a clear powder acrylic. It's really no difference when you're using it. Just make sure that you use it properly. Ooh. Build myself a little bit apex here because it's a little bit flat, but there you go. Make sure you get all the way up here with the clear, okay? Because you don't want to draw all that color out later. There you go. One hand done. Same thing. Keeps keep repeating it. But you guys see how like I have to go back there and do my application again? I don't like that. It's annoying to me. Some of you guys may like it. I, I don't know. This is not for me. I'd rather have the color just one coat. I don't have to go back through. But if you got to do it, you got to do it. And just like I said, it's just because I don't like how doing it. Sometimes as a nail tech, you got to be versatile. If you got to do it, you got to do it, you know? I want to use this nice royal blue. and I want that pigment to be like this, then yeah. Because if they mix this with more clear, this blue will not be as popping out as like this. And that's the truth. Now, you know, I know I have to cap these, but I'm not going to cap it with this monomer. Look at this monomer. It's already blue. It's tinted blue. So I got to make sure I finish off these fingers first and I switch the monomer out. Because I don't want, I don't want my nude to look blue, bluish.
just like that. Everybody's probably like, oh my god, now that's capping color powder. Look at him go. He was probably like, he never does this. You make it look so easy. Thank you, Morella. Even people text me while I'm watching your lives. It's annoying. <laughs> Not sure you mentioned what number of blue is this. Um, let me see. This number is solid 13 from Chisel. <laughs> Trust me, I hate it when people call me when I'm doing a live. It pops up my thing and I have to close it down. I feel you, girl. I feel you, child. You know, don't interrupt me and my time with Nail Dad, right? Don't interrupt my time with my, 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 my students and my, my followers. Just like that. Go right through. People always say, hey, what's the best clear? There's no such thing. All clear is the same. I can tell you that with a straight face. I can tell you that with a straight face. All clear are the same. That, see that bubbling? I hate that. You gotta deal with it. I have to, I have to break it in. That's why I, sometimes I recommend working a little bit slower. I hate bubbling when it comes to clear. And it's not avoidable. Those of you guys that think you can avoid it, no, you can't. Okay? Some more clear here. Just gonna keep playing clear and make sure everything is the same. Pigment, no bubble. coat here for the apex and now I'm gonna switch out the monomer and I'm gonna I'm gonna cap my nude earlier because I know for a fact that I did it thinner because I'd ran out of nude so I'm gonna throw this monomer out because this monomer is tinted blue you see that last thing I want to do is have tinted blue over my nude I'll take rid of this let's put a little bit of monomer left in here and I'm gonna cap the rest of my nude nails. No, the other one. Just a little bit of acrylic. See that? It's more clear, right? It's not tinted blue anymore. Do not make that mistake if you're capping another color and then all of a sudden you're gonna throw a tinted blue monomer on this. It's gonna look blue and you're gonna cry. You guys can hit that share button for me, please. I appreciate that. Sharing your Facebook. Sharing your local nail page. Maybe I'm not part of. You never know who can benefit from watching these videos. There you go. I capped these nudes. Because earlier I did it very thin. And there we go, guys. One set down. Ooh, did I do this in less than 30 minutes? I felt like I finished this set in less than 30 minutes. How, how long has it been, guys? Is it less than 30 minutes? Application less than 30? That's goals right there. There you go. 25 minutes? Hot damn. Hi, watched you a few months, been poorly, but I'm the men now. What happened? 25 minutes, that's nice. I know my, my brush is beat up, you see that? You never use clear, it's always gonna beat up your brush. Make sure you clean it properly, okay? Um, take the time right now when the, when the acrylic is still wet and still moldable. Be able to get out any acrylic, look, I'll show you guys, you see that acrylic stuck right there? 
it's still wet, so I can actually just push it and it comes right out. See that? Oop, I just added more to it, but. Push it out, clean your brushes, prep your brush. Clear is one of the biggest, 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 biggest culprit of getting stuck into your brush. No matter how good your brush is, it's just clear as pure acrylic, so it gets stuck a lot easier. I really, really clean it really well before I store it, because I don't want my brush to be all hardened and have the acrylic get really hard. When you feather through your brush, you'll, you'll feel it. See that? I got it out so I can feather through really nicely. Brush management is important. You want these to last you a year, six months to a year to get your money's worth, okay? Now you just train it and it'll stay flat like this. My brushes are crimped, so. 25 minute application. Okay, goals. All right, guys, let's go into shaping. Okay, let's do some shaping. 25 minutes, Ooh. That'll take me like three hours. Oh, uh, after class, uh, Edgar, after class, maybe we'll cut that down, huh? So we're just gonna shake this up. Remember, we already did our shaping with our application. We're just gonna go through with the hand file and we're just gonna make it nice and crisp, okay? Just relax. There you go. We're just gonna crisp it up. Should not take you that long to shape. Go through. Do you have any excess in the bottom? Find the bottom. This one, I think I was a little bit thicker. I'm a little more heavy hand on this finger here. And generally, that's my shape right there. Got a nice and crisp shape. And it should take about 10 seconds. 20, 30 seconds, less than a minute per finger. If you do your application well, it shouldn't be that much to file off. You're just making sure the shape's nice and crispy. And she's just running a 100, 100 file through it a few times, switching sides, make sure you're symmetrical. And there you guys go, see? Shape that'll make you cry. In less than what? 10 seconds, right? Application is key. I love it when my students say that. Good job, Edgar. I can't wait to meet you guys in Denver next month. Denver, San Jose, and Vegas classes. Over way more than half capacity. We're almost closing out that class. If you guys are interested, you can feel free to DM for class. You excited, Edgar? After all these years, I finally come West Coast. <laughs> See that? Just right through. Quick and easy. This is a solid uh, 13 by chisel. Um, I'll be in Denver next month, um, 14, 15. There's still some seats left in that class. Just DM me if you want to join. Um, I'll answer your replies tonight. It'll be with Voltino and Vina. If you guys ever noticed them, they're very popular artists. And Voltino will be showing a lot of his art and a lot of his techniques. And there you guys go. That's all it takes, okay? Hello, Guana. Thank you, Mr. Cheryl. Long time no see. I'm trying to get better with my timing. Just how long it take to prep size. Um, for prepping, I take about 10 to 15 minutes to prep the nails and get the tips on. Um, when you when you come to class, Disha, I guarantee you after class your timing will go down by a lot. A lot of my students are guaranteed like at least thirty minutes down their timing. Probably, sometimes you guys do steps that maybe are unnecessary, and we try to cut that out and help you.
do the proper steps and make sure that you get your timing down. Three hours is definitely a little too long for a full set. And this is, and it's just a result of, um, you know, some techniques that you need to hone in, learn. And that's when you go to class and that's when we'll be able to cut all that out for you. I know exactly what you're doing wrong when, when you when you come to class. A lot of students, they come in and the moment they start, I'm like, oh, this is what you're doing wrong. And we try to make those adjustments right there in class, make sure that they come back with a proper, or, you know, break some bad habits there, you know? Bad habits is one of those things that will cost you a lot of time in your, your full sets. Then after you realize, you're like, oh my gosh, now that's right. Why, did I, why was I doing this? I shouldn't have been doing this. Let's see if we can finish the set under an hour. <laughs> Sub one hour is pretty easy, as long as you keep repetition. Honestly, if I didn't if I didn't live stream, I probably would do this set under an hour easily. Um, it's just that we're live streaming, answering questions and stuff like that. A little bit harder. It's a little time consuming. Gotta explain things but I don't mind, my clients don't mind, thankfully. They're very supportive. <laughs> yes, my clients are allowed to talk, they're just very focused, okay? <laughs> A lot of times they ask, do you not let your clients talk? I'm like, no, they're just really supportive. They wanna, you know. Someone's watching too. You're watching too, you know? Some people think I, I don't allow my clients to talk or something. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Where you be in Denver next month? Do you do class in Arizona? I don't know how far Arizona is from Denver or Vegas or San Jose. You should definitely make a trip down to see me. It was close. I'm coming West Coast, but I can't make it to every West Coast class or West Coast state. But guys, hello. Hello. Yep, your learning goals? Yes. <laughs> goals, baby, goals. And I'm gonna use my five and one bit. And I'm and instead of hand filing, I'm gonna use this bit to actually drill the, the surface of nails too. This is a sharp in my from my store, five and one. Let's be able to get my cuticles and the base of my nails done. Yes, I use hundred hundred. A hundred hundred grit. Thank you, Edgar, for the stars. Can't wait. Can't wait. It's the way I hold the file at the application. Yes. <laughs> Who's on punishment? And I'm just gonna go through and get do the cuticle area real quick. Remember, we cap in the, the blue, so we don't want to draw too much into the blue, and so we don't remove too much of it. This cuticle work helps seal in the acrylic. Uh, clean up any excess underneath here. And I'm gonna be able to drill. Drill the nail. smooth this drill bit can be able to do all the work you need I have this in a medium and I have this in a safety also for those of you guys that are still scared to work on the cuticle area the safety in this medium will be very very well versed for you nice long barrel just like that smooth 
The smoother your application, the less work you gotta do. See, I flush my cuticles. I don't have to go through my cuticles too much. You make it look easy when drilling on the cuticle area? I have a lot of experience. It takes time. You guys will make it look easy too. Just practice, right? If I could transfer my experience over to you guys, I would, but I can't in a perfect world. If I can transfer, I can show you guys how to do it so you guys can practice and get that experience in. Don't be afraid, guys. It's just one of those things you gotta get through. Um, one of the phases of doing nails, okay? Cuticle work is very important. Don't skip out on that, okay? I just position my client's hands where I need it to be. And this is where you make up for the um, lot of mistakes. If you fly your cuticles a little bit, these cuticle bits will definitely help you uh, clean up the cuticle a little bit better. But definitely important for you to get into this cuticle area and make sure you get it flush because you know you don't want the nails to lift. When this grows out, it does cause it always you have minor lifting. But cuticle work is definitely the number one thing you can do better. To, if you have pop off or lifting on your nails, okay. how you know when you're not in the ring of fire? Hmm, the ring of fire. When I do this, I'm not putting that much pressure. It's very light pressure. You kind of feel it. It's hard to explain, but you, you eventually when you start getting that experience, you kind of feel it right when it starts to get right past. Because there's a difference between drilling onto acrylic than drilling onto a natural nail. So you kind of start, you feel the, the difference in the, the, uh, how, how it's being drilled and you kind of lessen up your ease up on your, your pressure on your drill. I don't really put that much pressure on there. I put like enough pressure that it's gonna, it's gonna like counteract like the acrylic's gonna okay i know exactly what the acrylic feels like when i'm drilling acrylic okay and you kind of see it too when the natural starts getting exposed so you kind of got to be, be more careful and when you flushing down your, your your acrylic with your uh your brush it means that you don't put too much acrylic in this area and it's a lot thinner it's actually a little bit easier for you to actually go through so you don't have to put too much pressure on the drill bit now, if you flood your cuticles with a lot of acrylic there, then yeah, you can put a little more pressure. You may have that ring of fire. But that's the only thing I can tell you. My, my best advice is probably just very light. Be light-handed. Don't be too heavy-handed. Because this drill is moving fast. And also, um, you know, there's weight on this thing. So the weight alone already has friction. So you're only just trying to just control the weight of the drill, okay? Sorry. That'll happen sometimes when it gets caught on the side, but that's why you have to have you stabilize your hand. There you go. Same thing with this, very light. Around the cuticle area. You can hand file first too, make this job a little bit easier. That's up to you. Let's go through, make sure everything's smooth. So now you have to do vertical motion, you have to do this, it's fine too. So make sure you don't do it too much. Circular motion is definitely the best way to go because your drill is in a circular motion. 
Um, for a lot of you guys that are using drill the first time, remember, if you're right-handed, your drill should be in reverse, uh, forward, and you're, if you're left-handed, your drill should be in reverse. A lot of you guys are doing it in the opposite direction, you guys are probably not even noticing it. Go right through circular motion. See that circular motion? I'm able to get a nice and smooth circular motion. Okay. Do you use like a medium speed on a drill height? I like medium. Uh, I like uh, this is my speed right now. It's probably at 10, 13. I do like a little bit quicker speed. The faster the speed, the easier, the smoother you can get. The slower the speed, it kind of gets a like. Let's say if I go slower, it won't. It won't. You see that? Less resistance. I have to do actually work more. I work harder. If I speed it up, I should get to go work quicker. So a little speedier, okay? That's up to you. You don't have to work at a high speed. You're not comfortable with it, okay? You're not forced to do that. Don't do that. Higher speed does not mean it's always better, okay? Work at your own speed, what you're comfortable with. I always recommend. Never go up based off someone's speed because their experience may be a lot different from yours, okay? And one hand down. Some people say you have the acrylic at the cuticle to make sure there's no lift. Wait, wait, what? You have to have acrylic at the cuticle to make sure it doesn't lift? What? No, 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 no. That's wrong. <laughs> when that grows out, it's going to leave a bulge and the wear and tear of water and stuff get in there. No, don't listen to those people. I got to read that again. Some people say you have to the acrylic. At this blue is um, 13 by, by chisel. So less acrylic than thinner than the cuticle. Um, you want it thinner, but you don't want it too thin either. Too thin means it's gonna chip. You wanna actually angle down and get it, blend it down. I'm not thinning out this area. I'm just flushing the cuticle, see that? Flushing it down. I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. See the natural nail bed? I'm not drilling into it. I got right to it and I knew where to stop. And I'm gonna tilt my drill and blend outward. I'm not thinning out too much of this area here. You thin too, this area too, out too much, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna start chipping, flaking off when it starts to grow out. Okay, and it has some kind of thickness, but not too thick. It has to slope forward. It's something you have to get used to. I like going faster speed. I just want to get through my cuticle and get through and done with. I don't want to like stay there too long. Go through and done. Drill is so important. A lot of you guys don't use the drill a lot. I think I recommend start using drill more and more. It's just it's a very very useful tool for you to get finish your set a little bit quicker. Um, you know you're not always gonna be able to drill everything, but like I said, you you guys see me do sets where I hand file. If you want to hand file, hand file. But there's no way you're gonna hand file and go to the cuticle area. You hand file it only for the base of the nail. At some point you're gonna have to use the, the drill to to get the cuticle area nice and flush. Okay.
to the area like that. Just like that. Very important. This area is the most important part. The base of the nail, you always thin out this area when going through this area, trying to flush the cuticle. This is where the lifts come from. A lot of guys have lift issues. I know it. Trust me, I know it. Been there, done that. Okay, guys? Everybody has lift issues when they first start doing nails. No one is uh, actually... No one has not struggled with lift issues. I had lifts back then, too. That's why I have to perfect my cuticle work. I use primer, you know? Primer can only do so much. I've never had a nail lift so far from one of your sets. Yeah. Yeah. It really lasts like a month. Yeah, that's why you can go a month and come back and do every time. <laughs> Y'all spoiled, to be honest. You guys are definitely spoiled by me. No, these are the nails I, um, Put the clear on so that might be a little bit thicker here and there that's why you have that little bit of resistance but just go through and and we're almost finished here just this finger and the thumb left we're gonna buff and do designs a little bit of 3d a little bit of sugaring of designs tie in the uh the set You don't want to drill too much on the apex area too. Um, you want to leave, leave some powder there, okay? So you can lighten your grip, lighten your pressure when you get to the apex area, and put more pressure when you get to the cuticle area so you blend it forward and you blend it downward, okay? And the fine one definitely gives you a lot of surface area to be able to get, cover everything you need, okay? Tilt the client's hand. Get them corners. Now I'm gonna clean up underneath any excess. Clean underneath. Which is not a lot, which is good. If you do this and you don't see a lot, it's good. It means you did a good job. I'm, I have the biggest set of people with stuff underneath, so make sure you get it all out. And we're done.
don't buff those corners now. All you guys are buffing these corners, just go up lightly, okay? You buff the corners, you're not gonna have that nice, crisp shape anymore. And you can also go through. Sometimes I like going through and just re, re crisping the shape up right before they wash their hands. Um, you have to, just go back through and just one, two, three, one, two, three. Get the shape nice and crisp again. This is from, you know, thickness changes, shape changes, okay? If you have to, do this now. Don't do this later on when you've done the design and you put the top coat on. Do this now. Get your shape nice and crisp. Or forever hold your peace. I always have that issue when I ever do this. I'm like, ooh, I could definitely hit this up with the hand file a little bit more. It only takes you a few minutes, but it actually increases your shape by what? 5%, 2%, 1%? If you increase your crystals and your shape by 1%, it's worth it, okay? Those of you guys that have lose your shape during drilling or whatever, do this. Yes, it's increased my shape, crispness by 1%. Worth the time. Look at that. We're done. Wash your hands. I mean, thinner acrylic one upon. These, these music. Hi from UK. I wish you would have. I wish you would have done my nails. The woman of oh, mine. I don't know what it is. Oh, sorry about that. Thirteen by chisel, yes. Overall, look coming soon to a theater near you. So. No, 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 I have someone. Still, you're still going? Yeah, I'm finishing up. How many people you have backed up for? Sure, next. I know how many people you're backed up today. You have to be backed up? Yeah, after her is you, then I'm, I want one more, I said. I'm pushing it. What do you need just to fill and redesign? Yeah. You can't go another for the party for that with that nails? No. It still looks good. Last time I went three weeks, I had to show gone. Now. <laughs> no, you can come tomorrow. Unless you want to go to the party. Well, those nails still look good. No, I got diamonds missing and stuff. I can redo the diamond if you want. I just got to finish off her, her design. Yeah. That's it. You ain't got to do nothing major. Yeah. We're just doing a fill. How you know about the party? Huh? You told me you're going to a birthday party. <laughs> You literally can go a day in that party with us. No, because tomorrow when I wake up, well, wait, you want me to come early in the morning? You can. Where are you going tomorrow? I still have a five-page paper to do. A five-page paper? Yes. That's, do it. That's what I'm doing tomorrow all day. Okay, coming early tomorrow and get your nails. Nah, I ain't even going to play with you, Joe. <laughs> then, then wait. Then wait. Oh, yeah, no. oh, yeah. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. So these ones gonna have um, the 3D flowers. So I'm gonna top coat this first. Yeah. Oh, actually, I have to do the design first and the 3D flower. I'll do these though. Pink. 
can do this. I'm not gonna top coat this first. I'll have to do this. Now talk about the truth, y'all. Pop that picture up again. Clear that first. Other one's diamond, so I won't do that last. So shiny, these are matted. Uh, mat this first and put the diamonds on. Okay, so which? How did it stones last? Let me finish up with this gel art first. Uh, the 3D. Take my 3D brush out. Get a little bit of monomer. Always do the three last. Thank you. 
go. This is my 3D brush. Let me get this on my site. You don't have one. You don't put top coat on top of 3Ds, okay, guys? A lot of you, like I said, doing it. You take away the 3D look. It has to be matted. So this is my finisher. After this, I'm done. I'm not gonna put top coat on it. I'm not gonna touch it. It's already nice and dry. See? Ask for that. No, you, take, you don't have to put it in the tongue. In. I'm in love already. Switch. There we go. That's one hand done. Now we go to the other one. And we finish up with some stones and we're good. This is it. This is it? This is it. This is, it. This is the one. It'd be the one? This is the one. <laughs> this is the way.
That's my butterfly wing. Not to worry about that moving anywhere because it's not. Because I, the stones are pretty much just, they have the support stone steps surrounding it. So it ain't gonna move anywhere. Just gonna finish up these stones here and we're good to go. We're not gonna top coat this or anything. I will put a little bit of matte around the area where it's too shiny. I don't want it too shiny. Yes, this takes a long ass time to do, but if you do it right, you take your time and it's, that's how it's done, okay? Don't rush this process. You cannot rush this process, okay? some seal in here. I don't have no clue. Come on. Get in there. My little butterfly. And there we have it, everybody. Finish that. Two sets of wings inside. It, it, it. Don't hold it like that. It's gonna. So I'm taking a little bit of a matte top coat. The best feeling the stone's extra. No, it's to um uh all the shiny surfaces. It's gonna be able to seal that in. Take it out. Oh, that shiny area. I just took my matte top coat. Just put it in there. I don't want it to be too shiny. See that on the outside here. I'm as matte as possible, go ahead. Now take my pin sealer. Go ahead. Take it out. This will be holding in the stones a little bit. Any spots where I feel like there's a gap, squeeze a little bit in there. Not too much, especially here. Let's put these together. Go ahead. Here. 
And we're done, guys. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> nice clients like that. So, we did 3D. See how the 3D is matted? That's how it's supposed to look. A lot of people put taco on the 3D. It's not going to have that look anymore. Take it out. Everything is gone and good. There you go. How about that for a birthday set? Thank you guys for joining us. Final look right here. Butterfly wings. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. 